Shalom, shalom, all Yahshua Allah. I want to start off first things first, giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakadash, which in the pedal of Hebrew tongues, created the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And open honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to you, sister and brothers, living this truth. And Shalom to brothers and sisters that's listening and studying. Show yourselves approved. Shalom. About to be a quick little MOTB update, you know, Mark of the Beast, because it is upon us. So check it out, y'all. I'm watching the circus, which at th this form is the football games. It's hard to kind of watch it, man. The circus is really garbage right now, man. Football seems like walkthroughs, you know, but ain't too much more to do in Babylon the Great. So. I'm watching the games, you know, there's places like Rome, watching the games, and I see a commercial. And in the commercial, y'all, Charlotte, they're promoting a digital, almost like a digital bank. And basically, it's going to be like a digital social credit score, which, us being this truth, the House of David, we know what that is. You know, it's going to be a step before they issue and make mandatory that micro CHIP. So I'm going to play the commercial. They're using a, a famous football player, Travis Kelsey, the tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs. They're using him to promote it. That's why I believe they most likely will be in the Super Bowl. They got this dude dating Taylor Swift as well. <laughs> you know, so it's putting a big spotlight on it. And we're just one step before the MOTB be made mandatory. I got to do, I'm going to set it up digitally. Once that's set up, people used to using it, then they'll crash the dollar, and then it'll be made mandatory. We're right here, right at the doorstep of that. So I'm about to show the commercial, so you can see it as well. Y'all, Sharala, see the commercial. See what Esau's promoting to let you know we're at the end of his rulership. And it's putting the bed all those, you know, false beliefs of what the MOTB really is. Because you got a lot of camps that's dancing around this and trying to say it's not that because they're going to introduce their members and, and coerce them into getting it. So no further ado, let's watch the commercial and check out they're promoting this, y'all, Sharala. Check this out, Yasha Allah. Travis Kelsey. Two championship rings. Seven consecutive thousand yard seasons. You're Brian Halsey. Zero debt. Perfect payment history. I worship you, man. You do? It's all the Experian Smart Money Debit Card. It has a digital checking account that can build credit without the debt. I use mine for everything. Me too. No way. <laughs> I'll see you, man. Yeah, bye. The debit card that builds credit. Get your experienced smart money account through the free app. Why is everybody saying the Okay, go back to that. I caught something I didn't catch last time. He said, I worship you, man. You know, he's talking to the little fans. So, where is it at? Bring that back up. I caught, I, I didn't catch it the first time, but he said, he told the dude, Travis Kelsey told the little fan, I worship you, dude. So, they're talking about a, a digital banking, and then like the pitch is without debt. You know, and I just recently found out that they've been having this company, and it's to help your credit score, and now they're just going digital with it. So, let's read about what it is. And this is a, it's a company called Experian. The company's been around, but it's now they're going digital. So it says, want legendary credit, but don't want to use credit to get there? Which that's crazy right there in itself. Introducing the all new Experian Smart Money. Anything smart, the elites control. Debit card and digital checking account. Keyword, digital. It's going online. It's going to be on cyberspace. This is not 
a tangible currency right here. It's a debit card and a digital checking account that can help you build credit without the debt. I'm like, that, that's your catchphrase right there? Build credit without the debt? I should be able to build credit without debt, period. You know, see, what most people don't know, every dollar that's get printed, you it goes into debt because they have to borrow it from the Federal Reserve. And the Federal Reserve is owned by the ish people. So that's why they currency, the, the, the physical dollar, you know, when they let them put their Federal Reserve Bank right there, every, every, they always went to debt. The U.S. going to go into debt. That's why it was stupid. So now their kick is you can get money without the debt go digital. And so a person that's not a critical thinker, they're going to be like, oh, that's good. I can get money without debt. I'm going digital. And that's where they want you to go. It says, banking services provided by Community Federal Savings Bank Member FDIC Experian is not a bank, but it keeps saying all this banking stuff. But it said it is not a bank. You know, I was recently told Experian is not a bank. It's supposed to help fix your credit. It says Experian boost results may vary, will vary. So everybody gonna get the same results. <laughs> that should make you skeptical right there. Like, hold up. So if this person get this amount, that don't mean you gonna get that amount. So it's different based on uh your credit score. You know, so this commercial just came out. Look at all the little, you know, social pages. And it says, get your experience smart money account here with a link. So this commercial, everybody seen this commercial. Everybody, you know, a lot of people watch the little football games. So everybody look, and everybody know who Travis Kelsey is. If you watch, you know, pro football, you know who that is. <laughs> so what's that going to make the people do, y'all, Sharala? Go get their little digital, they little digital social credit score and once everybody does that then they got the next move they're gonna do the devil does everything in phases but the key word what you see in the commercial what he said and he, he caught that in worship Ooh, we're gonna get that he said i worship you man you know that's what they're gonna do they're gonna make you worship this micro chip once it come online you know and now it's talking like you cannot say tell me that that is not the MOTB because the scriptures tell us that it's going to deal with economics. This is dealing with economics, right? It's not no sleeping with white women. It's ain't got nothing to do with sleeping with white women. It's not no embargo. This ain't got nothing to do with, you know, international trade. Now, the MOTB is sin, but how does one can't put it, it's not a sin as if you like breaking the laws and commandments. You know, it is a sin. But it's a, a certain type of sin because once you do this sin, there's no repentance for it. So it's different than you not keeping the laws of commandments. You know, because certain camp don't switch up their MOTB rhetoric so much. Now they're trying to say it's sin. Or it's believing in uh, sweet baby Jesus. This ain't got nothing to do right here with worship and no certain type of religion. This is strictly economical, which is going to go into a physical device going into people's body so let's go get this right here and see now because we're at the end of esau's rulership it's speaking so now you can tell who the real men men of the lord are and who's not based on what type of prophecy they got on the motb the mark of the beast so check it out this have a quote two and three for the vision is yet for a point in time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, it's tarrying right now, wait for it, because it surely come, it will not tarry. Tarry means to wait. Though it, you know, or, or stall. Or even though the MOTB is stalling, it's surely going to come. And you can see it, they're just doing it in steps. And now, like the scripture said, at the end it shall speak. They're speaking right now. Everybody's talking about a central bank digital currency. The money is now about to go from physical to digital, non-tangible, on cyberspace. They have a device. Look up Elon Musk Neuralink. Goes in your head. They have one that goes in your hand. This going to transform into that. And if you don't have that, then you're not going to be able to make any transactions. If you don't have a digital banking account which is proven that the micro chip is the mark of the beast 
No ifs, ands, buts about it. It's here now. It's talking. It's talking. So these other camps is getting muted. They're going to scramble. You know, all the people that's been lying. So the Lord right now, he's proving who the liars are and who's telling the truth. And what's doing that is prophecy. It's coming. It's talking right now. So let's go to Revelation 13, 16. Because I caught some. He said, I worship you, man. I'm going to start off with 15. Since he said that in the little commercial. This is Revelation 13 and 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Repeat that if you would not worship the image of the beast. When they make their MOTB mandatory and you refuse, they're going to try to take your life away, Yashra Allah. Like this devil's not ain't gonna be like, you know, that last time with that one nine situation. And he ain't gonna give you no choice like that. Because this devil's desperate. He has to put this device in everybody in order to offset prophecies, what Esau's trying to do. Because they know about Yahweh Shah coming back. They know about that. So they're trying to make to where if I put my device in all his people, then and they worship me, who is Yahweh Shah going to say? But see, the hopeful elect is not going to take that MOTB. So check it out. Let's get to Revelation 13 and 16. It says, And he calls of all, both small, great, rich, and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. That's, that technology is right now on display. That mark, you know, when you go into, you know, the etymology of that word, you know, um, it goes into haragma, you know, which goes into a stamp or an etching. That's what that is. You know, that's why a lot of camps are like, don't be going into your words. <laughs> don't be doing that. Because he's going to be found out to be a liar. That's why he don't want you to do that. You know, and here go verse 17 that just kills that whole rhetoric. And it says that, that no man might buy or sell transactions, baby. Say that he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And that is going to go into, let, let's read it. 18, here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man. A man going to issue this out. And his number is 603 score and 6. 666. Six, six. And when you look on the barcode, 66 is on every barcode. And that's going to go on those devices that's going to go into people's body. You know, they got one to go in your head, one that goes in your hand. Now, moving forward, if you don't have those devices, they're going to be like, I can't. you probably can't even get in the building. You probably can't go to work. They're going to tell you, hey, man, we, we don't take dollar bills. You, you need that device. You know, go get that device and come back. And that's how they're going to try to lock out people out of their society because the dollar is about to crash. BRICS nations coming online with their currency is going to kill the U.S. currency, which Esau Edom, a.k.a. the white man, is set up for that. So his excuse is, OK, yeah, the dollar's no good. We know here we have a digital currency for you to use. Fed now, Fed coin, whatever they're going to call it, that's going to come online and they're going to use that to tell people, go get that. And you will be good. They might even like say the first people get 20,000 credits or 50,000 credits to make people run and go get it. And see, if you ain't been versed on what this is, people going to get that and not knowing that they're destroying themselves when they get it. Because let's read the penalty for it. No, where is it at? There it go. Here's the penalty for getting that. Because I've also heard a, a camp say that you can repent from the MOTB. And that was a straight up lie. No, you can't. That's why you shouldn't be teaching that the MOTB is like regular sin. Because it's not. So this is Revelation 14 and 9. And it reads, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in the forehead or in his hand, verse 10, the sand should drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he should be tormented with fire and brimstone 
in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Pretty much saying that you can't get on no chariot, which the world ignorantly calls a UFO. You're not going to be saved. You're not going to get no salvation if you get that MOTB. You're going to be, he said, burnt in the presence of the holy angels and the Lamb. The Lamb is your house shot. And when they say you're going to be burned, that's going to be when those ICBM nuclear missiles go off. You're going to be left here when it goes off if you get that MOTB. You get that MOTB, it automatically excludes you from salvation. So you are not to get that by any, you know, any circumstances. Avoid that at all costs because if you get it, you're finished. Esau knows that. That's why he's issuing it out. You know, so our job as watchmen for Israel is to let the sheep know not to get it. Yeah, you might, you know, go through a little hardship, but hey, believe on the Lord. Have faith in the Lord. He will feed you, you know, which I'm going to end off with something like that. Like our faith is going to be propped up at this time when this MOTB gets issued out, which the scripture calls the hour of temptation. You know, you got to pray that he keep you from that, which let me see, I might go get that. Yep, I'm going to get that real quick. So this is Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, you know, what's the word of his patience? This word, the Bible. I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them to dwell upon the earth. And that's getting ready to happen. Just like that one nine situation, you know, every civilization had to go with that. The majority had to go with that. It's going to be the same thing when this thing roll out. Every country will issue out their version of the MOTB, that digital currency. And the Lord said, if you keep the word of his patience, he'll keep you from the hour of temptation, which means you won't be getting that. You will avoid that. So I say that, let me see, what else what I, I was going to end with? Oh, yeah. For Isaiah. 65 and 13. I'm going to end it with this right here. Now keep this in your mind, y'all, because this is like vital and important for you to avoid that because they're going to put a lot of pressure on us to get it. So this is Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus said the Lord Yahweh, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye should be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye should be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye should be ashamed. So the Lord said, my servants shall eat, my servants shall drink. We got to believe that. That way we get the devil the middle finger when he say, get my MOTB or else. So with that being said, I hope it's been edifying. I want to say, Kwam Yashra Allah, repent while you have the time. Shalom.